Welcome to F YouTube, where you have a whinge and we put it on television. First up, Philip reckons Thrifty are being a bit shifty when it comes to car rental prices. He used their mobile site to book a Toyota Corolla. It quoted $64 per day plus fees, bringing the total estimate to $75 per day. But after selecting it and moving on to the booking page, that $75 figure had suddenly jumped to $109, thanks to a bunch of new fees, including a $17 premium location surcharge for picking a car up from the airport. Well, that is an exotic location. Imagine picking up a hire car from there. And we've been inundated with tip-offs like this, such as this one from you, Philip, about the other time you hired a car from Hertz in Mackay. On that occasion, the car listed at $32 a day, excluding GST, came back at $130. That's a lot of GST. And though it might not seem like it to us, Philip isn't the only person getting caught out by this... Scare. Well, we hadn't played him for a while. The good news is that it's illegal to be false or misleading about the price of services. And the consumer law specifically says you can't promote part of a price without giving the overall price similar prominence if that price can be quantified. The better news is that the ACCC is cracking down on what they call drip pricing, and while Thrifty doesn't accept they're breaking the rules... We do take on board the feedback that the information could be better displayed. The best news is that this means the next time something like this happens, you can contact the ACCC instead of us. Uh, I just gave um, Philip your home address. <laughs> We touched on frequent flyer schemes earlier tonight and we've heard from a number of people whose points also seem to have magical properties in that they vanished. Qantas took 82,000 frequent flyer points from me through lack of activity. Qantas has stolen 47,000 of my frequent flyer points. Well, stole is probably a strong word. What's actually happened here is those points have expired in accordance with Clause 9.2.2, which is clearly outlined in the 22,000 word terms and conditions that everybody reads when signing up. Now, they do say that they'll give you a heads up about it, but telling us you're going to rob us doesn't make it any better. Hello, this is just a courtesy call to let you know that we'll be robbing you in 60 days. Oh, thanks. And don't bother trying to get them back. I've spoken to them. I've written to them twice. No empathy, no nothing. Qantas, you're avoiding me. Well, Mark, to be fair, I think Qantas are avoiding a lot of calls at the moment. Qantas, talk to me. Not good enough. Look, I'll talk to you, Mark. We agree, it's a dodgy rule, but until it's changed, the way to get around it is to either spend your points on a kitchen sink or earn points from other businesses. As we told you tonight, it's not great value, but it will keep your account active. Mongrels. And from magic beans to expensive apples, Julia got in touch about her mum's plan to buy a Mac laptop. As a computer expert in the house, I thought I should help her with this. But it's a bit confusing as to what $389 of Apple Care actually does. Apple Care is basically an extended warranty. So the question to ask is what does the warranty you're paying for get you you don't already get for free under the consumer law? The Apple website actually sets out those differences in a supposedly useful comparison table. Julia, you may not like the table, but the ACCC does. They made Apple post it as part of a legal settlement last year to deal with ACCC concerns about Apple Australia. Now, Apple offers the Apple One Year Limited Warranty, but they specifically say consumer law guarantees last twice as long, 24 months, and possibly longer. So if you've got a rotten apple, even an old one, remember that. After wading through the comparison table, Julia concluded... For $389, we get rights to repair or replace for defects that are probably provided for for free under the Australian consumer law. AppleCare does get you a longer period of expert telephone technical support, although Apple offers 90 days phone support for all purchases, and research suggests about half of consumer product problems occur in that time frame. And they offer in-store tech support by appointment at Genius Bars. So, is AppleCare worth it? Maybe you don't need a genius to work that out. Finally tonight, like all guilty mums, Annie Cram has been trying to follow the World Health Organization's recommendation to restrict her kids' intake of sugar. So, we've been reading every label. 
and they came across this one. Including Right Foods, Dr. McDougall's vegan miso ramen noodle soup. Mmm, lucky kid. Annie noticed that the ingredients include organic dehydrated cane juice. Hmm, cane juice that's been dehydrated. Sounds like sugar to me. Sounds like bull sugar to me, Mum. Good night. <laughs>